And we begin with breaking news out of San Marcos, where law enforcement is currently investigating a deadly double shooting. Now, one person is dead. The other victim is in critical condition. And Fox 5's Alani Latang starts us off live from the scene with what we're now learning. Alani. Andrew Maria, we're learning that those two victims that got shot were in their late teens to early 20s. We're here on Borden Road outside the Paloma Elementary School. That's now been closed and closed off. That's now a police staging area. But behind me on Borden Road is a slew of police. They're talking with witnesses. They're investigating sort of what happened here. So what we do know. Both of these two males got shot here near the park out right outside that Paloma Elementary School down the street here on Borden Road. We're told that one went to the hospital in an ambulance. The other went to a hospital in the airlifter. It's not which passed, but one of them passed away. The other one still remains in critical condition. They are still looking for a suspect or suspects. They say there's no description of the person interest but says this might be an isolated incident. So this call came in after 2 p.m. today and with reporting parties say that they heard gunshots. Uh, it's still unclear and they're still investigating what led up to this shooting and sort of a motive for the shooting. There's no it's still unclear also the relationship between the shooter and the victims themselves, but they told us that the two victims were together at the time. We're also told that um, one of the one of the uh, one of the gunshot wounds was to the head of one of the victims here. And again, that school is closed off. That park is closed off. We're still trying to learn information on how this all unfolds here in this neighborhood in San Marcos. We've spoken with neighbors and they say this is sort of a quiet neighborhood. Many people walked by and said they have never seen anything like this. So we're going to be sticking around seeing here. We spoke with a detective who um, with the homicide unit and they said at the sheriff's homicide unit, I should say, and they're still trying to unfold sort of what happened here. We see them still continue to talk to people. We're going to be sticking around to give you guys the latest information. But for now, we're live in San Marcos tonight. I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.